Good morning, Homestead High School class of 2021. I am Mrs. Hamilton and I am a school counselor in the Office of Student Services here at Homestead High School. Today, I'm going to present an advisory, a PowerPoint regarding information that is important to all juniors. Over the last 30 days, counselors have been visiting advisories and talking to students about what they need to be prepared to take care of during their junior year to be better prepared for their senior year and beyond. Today's PowerPoint is another reminder of the items that you need to be responsible for this year. Let's get started. First of all, I would like to point out some resources available to students. If you have not yet visited the Homestead Guidance webpage, please do so. The address is on this PowerPoint. At this um, website, you will be able to find information on SAT and ACT testing, AP exams, course descriptions, diploma information. There is a junior year checklist packet that includes valuable information that you will need regarding college visits, testing, and diploma requirements. We also place on our guidance webpage all of our guidance videos, including this video, and any presentations. Please have your parents visit our guidance webpage as well so that they may take advantage of looking at the guidance videos and the other information found here. We also list scholarships and financial aid information. And finally, we list information about our scheduling process. Like I said earlier, Counselors have been visiting advisories, talking to students about their junior meetings. We are just now finishing our senior meetings and will be soon meeting with our juniors. We will meet individually with each junior to discuss their graduation requirements, their senior schedule, and their college and career plans. At this meeting, each student will be given a copy of their unofficial transcript. This transcript will include all of your courses and grades so far through high school. It will also include information regarding testing, AP exams if you've taken any, and your current school year schedule. Counselors will be sending for students during the months of November, December, and January. Watch for a pass because it's probably coming from your guidance counselor to do your junior meeting. Part of that junior meeting will be spent on where you are at with your diploma requirements. Each student should know whether they are pursuing the Core 40 Diploma, the Academic Honors Diploma, or perhaps the Technical Honors Diploma. If you are unsure about your diploma requirements, these can be found on the Course Description Guide located once again on that Student Services webpage. It will also be included in the junior year checklist packet, which is also on our webpage. Counselors will review with each student their graduation progress during their junior meeting. We will point out which classes you still need to take and make sure that we get them on your schedule for your senior year. Although your counselor is working with you to make sure that you get your graduation requirements, it is up to each student to know what those requirements are and make sure they are on their senior year schedule. Post-secondary plans. Whether you are looking at college, trade school, military, or perhaps just going out and working a job, be prepared to discuss your future with your counselor. We are here to guide you in your next steps and talk you through the process of what college applications look like, whether it's a two-year or four-year college, and also to help with questions regarding the military or apprenticeships. One of the best things you can do in your junior year is to try and do as much career planning as possible. If you can narrow down what field you would like to study or a particular major that you're interested in, that will help you in deciding your senior year classes and where you might apply to college. 
All of you for the last three years have been using the Indiana Career Explorer for its career assessments and interest inventories. We encourage you to continue to visit this site to aid in your career planning and college major choice. Other websites you might want to visit are listed here. We encourage you once again to try to narrow down so that when it comes time to apply to the colleges you're interested in, you want to make sure that they are offering the major you would like to pursue. Many students are looking at trade and technical schools versus a four-year degree. We need to know that that is in your plan. We can help you in identifying those trade and technical schools that best fit your goals. And if you're also interested in the military, we can guide you in that process as well. We will ask you to consider the Anthos Career Center, which offers a plethora of career options for you to pursue in your senior year. Those programs include anything from auto mechanics to culinary arts to nursing to criminal justice. Please let your counselor know that Anthos is something you're interested in. We also offer seniors our cooperative education program which is a great way to gain valuable career experience. If you are interested in co-op, please let your counselor know so that we may plan that program appropriately in your senior schedule. We will also advise you to research apprentice programs, and if you plan on meeting with a military representative, never sign anything until you know your commitment. And if you're interested in the military, make sure that you take the ASVAB which is the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery. One of the biggest things that you can take care of as a junior that will free up more time for you in the senior year is to get your college visits done and out of the way. Juniors are allowed three college visits a year. We will begin to talk with you about what colleges you're thinking of looking at, we will encourage you to get on the internet and do your research as much as possible so that you can narrow down to those colleges that you then want to visit. Students will provide a, can't, must provide an official note on the college letterhead to the attendance office after they've gone on their campus visit. Parents will call you in and it will go down as a parent excuse, but once you return with the official documentation that parent excuse will be changed to a college visit. We will want you to find out important information on your college visit, such as, what are the admissions requirements? Did I look at a dorm? Did I get a tour? Could I sit in on a class that I'm interested in? What do they have as majors? How far is it from home? And what does it cost to go here? There are a list of questions provided in the junior packet checklist that we encourage you to take along, as well as questions that you'll want to ask the admission officers. Please take your parents on your visits. They are a vital part of your post-secondary plans. It is important that they go with you and learn about the college along with you. Take pictures of the campuses so that if you need to differentiate between your two college visits or three college visits, that you can do so with the pictures taken. And lastly, write a thank you note. If you've met with any college admissions personnel, that will help them to remember you. If you can't get to the campus right away, we do have college reps that visit Homestead High School. We do provide a list on announcements and the guidance webpage and Canvas of all of the upcoming college reps that are visiting Homestead. You must sign up at least one day in advance of the visit, and then you will be released to come down during the college visit day. Come in with great questions and looking your best. They may remember your application when it passes across their desk. Testing. Most colleges still require a college entrance exam. SAT and ACT testing is available multiple times during the year. Dates are listed on our Homestead webpage as well, on, as well as on Canvas. Sign up is through the testing agency. 
at www.collegeboard.com for SAT and actstudent.org for the ACT. We encourage all students to take both tests by the end of their junior year. So if you can take an SAT and an ACT by June of your junior year, or even by March of your junior year, then you have another opportunity before you leave for the summer to get a second test done. Remember that colleges often will superscore your test scores, which means they will take your best math and your best English, even if they are from two separate test dates. So it's important that you sign up for at least one round of testing early on in your junior year so that you can fit another round of testing in before you leave for the summer. Ask your counselor for a fee waiver if you think you qualify. College applications. Technically, we don't start this process till the fall of your senior year, but we want you to come back from summer break before your senior year ready to go with the application process. Counselors will explain to students during their junior meeting and senior meeting how that process works. You can be re begin researching colleges now to know what the procedures and requirements are for admission and be ready to go come August 1st of your senior year. By planning as a junior, you will be better prepared for senior year. For those of you who are looking to play a D1 or T D2 sport, you will need to register at the NCAA Clearinghouse. Be sure to let your counselor know if you are being recruited for college athletics. NAIA is for typically D3 schools, but once again, let your counselor know if you're planning on playing any college sport so that we can properly advise you on the next steps to be eligible to play. Visit the Eligibility Center at the webpage listed here or at the Play NAIA. We encourage all juniors to register at the NCAA Eligibility Center after their junior year. Send a transcript through parchment.com and then you will also need to send a final transmit transcript at the end of your senior year. It's hard to believe, but your senior year is right around the corner. During your junior meeting, counselors will talk with you about your senior schedule, including our special programs like co-op, senior experience, internship, or ANTHUS. Beginning early December, we will be handing out scheduling information for students to take home and discuss with mom and dad. Over the winter break, we hope that you are looking at the scheduling materials and being prepared for what you want to sign up for for your senior year. Once we return from winter break, we will be sitting down with every student individually and once again looking at their senior year schedule. For those of you who are interested in senior experience, your counselor will be able to sit down with you and create a senior experience schedule that may be very unique just for you. But once again, all of these types of schedules are dependent on the grades that you have from your previous years and credits. You want to be eligible to do any of these programs, so passing classes, earning your credits is critical. Once again, we will start scheduling in February for your senior year schedule. Just as a wrap up, just a few things to remember. This process can be overwhelming. We understand that. We don't want you to wait till your senior year and all of this comes down on you all at once. So we want you to start planning now. Get your testing done. Start your college visits. Do your research online. Have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation with mom and dad about how far away you want to go, away to school, who's paying for college, and what do you want to major in? By planning now, you will be less stressed in your senior year. Once again, your future awaits and we want to help you plan ahead. Thanks juniors. Once again, your counselors will be reaching out to you in the coming months to set up your junior meetings. We look forward to meeting every one of you. Thanks guys.